Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Dan Drew with your weather on demand for UpperMichiganSource.com. We have winter weather advisory in effect for most of the Upper Peninsula this evening and running through tomorrow. Overnight we'll start to see some snow move in and uh, because of that we're going to see a few inches in return and then that's when that's the whole reason we've got that advisory out there. Now we do want to note though for Ontonagon, Houghton and Keweenaw counties, you guys are not included in this at the moment. That's because uh, most of this action should stay further to the central and the eastern UP. However, if that system does move a little bit further to the north, you guys could be included later on. Now, right now, we're just looking at mainly cloudy skies. A few flurries here and there, and I have seen some flurries outside the station this evening. But otherwise, we've just been dealing with cloudy skies. We'll broaden the view, and the snow really hasn't developed yet. We're waiting for this low pressure system to develop here in Missouri. You can kind of see some rain developing and then some snow back further to the west. That will be lifting north and eastward. And then by tomorrow, we're going to see that all across most of the Upper Peninsula as this low pressure really develops, moves quickly up here. And that puts us right in the bullseye for some snow. May, most of us are going to see about two to four inches. But in the meantime, uh, snow will be uh, prevalent across the Upper Peninsula. So winter lovers will be able to rejoice finally. Now by uh, Sunday, though, the snow does calm down a little bit, but we're going to start to see lake effect snow showers and much cooler temperatures. And it's not until we get into early next week that we really see how cold it can get. Now snowfall totals, most of us are going to see two to four inches. Uh, some of us could see from about Barriga to Ishpeming about three to six inches out over the Huron Mountains in the west, though. Uh, not too much snow, just about an inch to three inches. However, once that lake effect snow machine gets started up, you could see a couple extra inches on top of that. Now overnight, that snow does begin to move in. We'll be looking at mild temperatures from the mid-20s to around the low 30s. We'll see uh, cloudy skies for the most part and light winds out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now for our day tomorrow, uh, the least amount of snow will be in the west. As I showed you, about 1 to 3 inches on the order. Cooler temperatures, they're, they're going to be the first ones to feel those cooler temperatures, especially as those winds start coming off of Lake Superior. Then further in the central upper peninsula, most of us are going to be dealing with uh, snow throughout the course of the day. Temperatures a little bit warmer from the around the 30 degree mark to the mid 30s. Then out east, we'll be looking at temperatures right around 30 degrees with uh, mostly uh, looking at some snow for most of the day. Just about two to four inches, a little bit less as we head further east. Your TV six day forecast temperatures really drop off as we get into early next week and then we're going to be looking to struggle to hit 10 degrees here later on in the week before we finally hit the new year. So uh, all, other than that, we're just going to be looking at some on and off snow showers throughout the course of the rest of the week. Have a wonderful weekend.